Welcome, this is the Geisler Defense 19X. It is a 17 sized frame with a Glock 19 um, upper. Basically it'll accept the Glock 19 slide kit and we're gonna be going over the lower parts kit installation. Here we have a lower parts kit from Husky Armory and we have all of the parts laid out locking block, rails, pins, um, and a couple tools, including a punch, and uh, that, that'll help with getting the pins in and out. We got needle nose pliers, um, which can help with getting in the mag release spring and help with a couple other things as well. All right, so we're gonna start with the mag release spring. Um, like the the long silver spring here and this is where the needle nose pliers really help out uh, so we'll, I'm gonna grab it like this and there's a little slot in there it's kind of hard to see um, but basically you're gonna slide it right into that slot towards the front of the grip and it's gonna pop it's gonna pop in there and you're gonna feel it seat um, it can be kind of kind of tricky to do but you can kind of feel for it and once it's in um, there you go you can kind of see it right there and you're gonna to want to make sure it's pushed down and, and seated all the way uh, and that, now we'll put in the mag release uh, which just goes in through the bigger side uh, smaller side first through the frame and you're gonna to need to get it behind the spring um, which isn't too bad since this frame is bigger on the smaller ones, it's a little harder. Uh, you can try to use a a punch. You, you, uh, I've used a knife before. You could use pretty much anything, but you just want to pull the spring back a little bit towards the back of the frame, and it'll pop through just like that. And you'll see it come out the other side. Um, and then the punch is great here because we're going to need to get this spring into the slot in the mag release. Um, so you're going to push that over towards the right side of the frame. Um, and you'll be able to see a notch when you look in and you just want it to catch in that notch and that's what's going to give it the tension uh, and you can see that right there and there we go so mag spring um, and mag release button are in and you, sh you, sh you should be able to feel the tension there um, and there we go so that's stage one is done um, so here we go we got the uh, trigger and trigger bar and we're going to finish the assembly here for this first. Um, I'm going to grab the trigger housing assembly and then we have the uh, the assembly uh, spring right here and we're going to put that in. You're going to want the loop to be able to go through and up. Uh, so the space, it does matter which way you orient, orient it here, um, but you're going to want the space between the top of, of kind of the loop at the end and the spring to be open uh, once you're done. This can be a little tricky if you got fat fingers like me, uh, but, but not too bad to get through here. Um, and once that goes through, again, you're going to Look for that gap at the top because you want the spring to go through the bottom and up, if that makes sense. Um, and almost there. There we go. Got a little more dexterity than me it might might be a bit easier but uh so here we go with the connector uh, there's going to be a clear kind of slot in form where this fits in and you're just gonna push um, the long piece at the bottom right into it um, and it's going to slide right in to there easy enough so now we're going to take the trigger trigger bar um, and you're going to First, we're going to need to get the spring attached, uh, which can only go in one way, so easy enough. 
and that'll go right through. And then this can take a little practice to get good at, but you're basically want to kind of go sideways and uh, towards the forward part of this uh, trigger bar connector here and down. And there's a slot on the assembly that then you'll be able to slide this into. Um, and you could, you could feel it catch on the connector right there. And there we go. We got our trigger assembly all together and that'll be ready to drop into the frame um, once we get the rails in. So we're gonna start here. So we'll, we'll finish kind of the extra little, little pieces. Um, this is the slide takedown spring um, for the Glock 17 or uh, Glock 19 rather, apologies. Um, because this is the 19x and you're going to put that little the little short end right into the slot and just push down and then it should seat nicely and you should feel a little a little spring to it these are easy to lose <laughs> so you want to be careful and make sure you got a, a good workspace uh, to do this so now we have the uh, takedown lever which you're going to want kind of the little triangle or whatever you would call it towards the top, the small piece that sticks out. And then there's going to be a uh, kind of crevice or channel through it. And you want, and the other side will be totally flat. You want the side with the channel to face towards the back of the frame. Um, and this is where you can kind of, you can use anything, whether it's a punch, uh, the spring popped out. So I'm just going to pop that back in real quick but you're gonna to need to push down and, and put tension on that um, while we slide the lever through and over uh, the spring. And that's what's gonna hold it into place. So you kinda, of, you got everything lined up and now we're gonna to have to get a little pressure down on the spring. Almost. And through. And it's going to go all the way across, holding that spring down. And you can kind of, once you got it at least over the spring, you can just rock it into place. And then you'll, you'll feel and you'll hear a snap up. And there we go. Slide takedown lever is in. Okay, so now we'll go to the rear rails. And on the Geisler, they're a little different than the Polymer 80s. Uh, they're two separate pieces which I didn't know if that, you know, was less quality or a little less durable, but they've actually been rock solid. Um, and there's little slots on each side and they just slide right into those slots. So there we go. Starting with the right side rear rail, it slides in flush and it'll hold it right in place there. Um, and, and it'll be the same process with the other one. Um, and you obviously, you want the kind of the top rail hanging out um, so the slide can can ride over it same thing you want to just make sure they're both pushed all the way down and there we go easy as that rear rails are in the, <clears throat> the rear uh, rails pin will eventually hold those both into place along with the trigger assembly so now to put the uh, the whole trigger assembly in you always want to start trigger first. You want to slide that through. Um, so it goes through the slot and then work the housing down. Um, sometimes it's a little harder. Sometimes it's easier. This one in pretty, pretty easy, but, uh, yeah, you just want to make sure everything's seated all the way and you should, uh, you'll be able to feel the trigger pull at this point. Um, so now <clears throat> we're going to go to the, uh, slide release and this is going to sit on the left side and it's going to slide into the left of the trigger where there's going to be a uh, hole for a pin to go through the trigger and the slide release and that's just going to sit into place just like that and here goes the forward rails and locking block right in and that's going to hold everything there everything should feel solid and uh, this the slide release, uh, you should be able to feel 
a little bit of tension on that now um, to make sure you got it in correctly. So now we're going to move to the pins. Um, and we have four pins here. I got them in order from, from front to back. Um, but we got the locking block pin, the trigger pin, rear rail pin, and the, uh, the front locking block pin as well. Uh, so we'll start with that one. And that's usually the smallest, um, depending on what frame you're on, but it, it's always, always the smallest. And what I like to do is kind of line them up. This is always kind of variable how easy this goes in. The tolerances are, are kind of so exact. Um, so I'll kind of line them all up and at least try and get them through the first part of the frame, um, at least until there's friction. And sometimes once you pop one in, the other ones will come easier. Sometimes you got to try the other side. Um, it'll go in easier through the other side. And uh, you just got to kind of play with it. But you obviously don't want to take a sledgehammer to it either um, and, and break something that way. But sometimes you do have to use some force for sure. And uh, this was the last tool that it, I always find helpful. You can use a regular hammer or something heavy in a pinch, but the armor's hammers are, are pretty sweet if you're doing a lot of these builds. Uh, it's kind of got, it's got the soft end, so you, you don't damage the pins. Um, and, and you just kind of slowly work those in. So here we go. The trigger pin, given some problems, which can happen. Um, and you, you want to make sure that the slide release is lined up right and you know, you're not catching anything or trying to bang through anything. Um, but sometimes it can just take a little force to get everything to sit properly. Almost there. Just, sometimes you gotta move the trigger around a little bit. It can help you with, with lining everything up. And there she goes. There we go. Our lower parts kit is installed on the Geisler Defense 19X. Testing the trigger action, you should uh, kind of hear a clean snap, feel a clean break. Make sure the the release is working, mag release, slide release, take down lever, and we can pop a slide on at this point. Uh, you want to make sure every, you got a little bit of oil. If you're using an aftermarket slide like I am here, um, they, they'll come bone dry. So you, you want to make sure to oil that up a little bit so you're not scraping the slide and the rails. But uh, there we go. Uh, feel free to leave any comments if you have any questions. And uh, you can grab these lower parts kits on huskyarmory.com.